Konbanwa. Good evening, world. We are going on a adventure. Yeah, late evening adventure, aren't we? Yeah. Someone got really adventurous here. Yeah. <laughs> wanted to come, and now he's regretting coming. You're taking the teddy bear into the dark woods. Yeah. Let's do it. We are in the Ito area of Japan right now, walking through the forests, and at the end of this forest path, we think is the sea. If this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, welcome. We're a British family that moved to Asia about three years ago. We live in a beautiful island in the Philippines and this is our first time visiting Japan. We are driving around Japan in a camper van and loving it so far. Oh, there's an incline climbing up instead of going down to the coast. This area is called the Jogosaki Coast. It's meant to be quite a well-known place to go for a walk, but it's definitely not one of those places that you would usually see as a tourist because it's pretty hard to get here. We had to drive quite far for a good few hours from Tokyo here. Can you see the sea? We can see the sea. We I can hear it. the sea. Look at that, sun setting as well. Wow, I didn't expect this. Me neither. This is our first time seeing the sea here in Japan. It is, and it's beautiful. You can see it's, islands in the distance too. Yeah, boats, islands. It's very different to what we're used to. Yeah. These rocks are so unusual. <laughs> it does, yeah, we've said this a few times. It feels like Portugal here. The climate, the landscape, Oh, the climate's beautiful. I'm really yeah. loving this weather. I'm noticing a lot of mosquitoes flying around there, so hopefully we don't get bitten to death. This is the first time I've seen mosquitoes, actually. I know, you wouldn't expect it in this weather, would you? Because it's quite cool. We're here in the autumn. This is incredible. Although it's a little bit scary, isn't it? It is, but these rocks, they look like something out of Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. It's really dramatic. <laughs> Getting worried standing on this edge here. It's pretty solid, I must say, but because I'm here with the family, you know, it does make you feel a little bit unnerving. You know, you think if you fell off there, there's no way out. Let's walk back away from this edge. So one of the things I want to see on this little hike we're doing tonight before the end of the day is a beautiful polished stone that has kind of naturally formed on the cliff edge. Now, Rush, I showed you a picture of it. Yeah, it got stuck in a hole or something and then the waves over time has just kind of smoothed it out and it's made a perfect circle yeah but inside a rock but which way is it do you it's that know? way yeah okay. it's this direction right. according to google map our savior <laughs> so what we were just standing on on that rock there is lava it's lava from it's hard to, it's hard to pronounce but it's Omuroi Omuyama, Omu, Omulo, Omulo yam, Yama, it r erupted. So that's why, that's why it's all, it's all wobbly. And fun fact, the volcano erupted in four thousand years. It erupted in the past of four thousand years. Four thousand years ago. Wow. It's <laughs> so long. Okay, let's go for a walk. Yeah, I can't wait. You, you I, the shiny ball is like a, it's a rock that got smashed against the shoreline too much that it turns so round that like you could, you can't even cut your hand. If if you picked it up, it won't cut your hand. This is a lovely coastal walk. Look, we're in the forest here, and then to my right hand side. The sea is visible down there in the rocks. It is getting dark pretty quickly, so we're not sure if we're gonna be out for that much longer. We've started this fairly late in the day. So that's just pointing out all the massive spider's webs that are well within face distance. You would not want that in your face. There's lots of access to the coast. All right, let's keep walking. Quite a few planes going overhead. 
big ones as well. Looks like must be heading over to Tokyo. The terrain is quite walkable, it's nothing crazy. Whoa, massive spider again. Oh my goodness. I had to stop quickly for this one. Okay, it got too dark. <laughs> we are exiting the forest path. We didn't get to our destination in time. So we will resume this in the morning. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Is the does the moon like turn into the sun? No, the moon reflects the sun. Oh. That's why you get light from the moon. Wow. Okay, let's go back to the van. We're out of the forest. And you're never too far from a vending machine in Japan. We haven't actually used a vending machine yet. This will be our first experience. Yeah, but we need drinking water, which they have here. Yeah, it's really cool. Look, you can get monster energy drinks, curry sweats. You can get hot coffee over here, hot tea. All the prices are listed there. Monster energy again. Yeah, and they've got the recycling bin right here. So if you're in any doubt what you're supposed to do with your plastic. <laughs> Yeah. Beast, yeah. Actually, all these are cold. Are they? Because they're all they're all blue. Yes, you're right. But we have seen hot coffee in the vending yeah. machine, haven't we? Yeah. All right, let's so get which some do in. you want, Story? I wanted. You want to try that one? Yeah. Okay. Can we get some change? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to collect up all the change? Yeah. It's my yen. <laughs> Actually, this is our yen. See the water? Oh yeah. Grab that. Get the drink you want. Well, that came out really fast, didn't it? Yeah. Gave you fright. <laughs> Is that the one you wanted? Yes. Success. Craft cola, I went for. Is there anything lemony in here? Fancy something citrusy. This. Okay. Sasha is plating up dinner. Just been cooked here in the van in the car park while Story has been doing some. Japanese lessons, haven't and you? And finally on the katagana trap. Mm, you've been doing this for a few minutes now, haven't you? Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. So for our dinner tonight, we have some boiled sweet potatoes with salt sesame oil on. We've got some scrambled tofu with sesame and spring onions, pajam peppers, some rocket leaves. Maybe we can just eat the skin of this. You can. Mmm, magic salt, hey? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new morning. Heading to meet the family. They've gone ahead of me. Back on the Jogosaki coast. We slept last night in the car park just here, which was really, really mild actually. Temperature was lovely. I'm walking through this forest now, I don't need this jumper. The weather is perfect here in the autumn. It smells amazing walking through this forest. The wood and the leaves. Now coming out to the sound of the sea and the smell of the ocean. There's Dory and Sash. <laughs> I can see your cardigans are off. Oh yes, yeah, it's really hot today. Especially after our little exploring. So where did you go? Over there? Yes. You went down there? I don't think it's accessible. Because uh, I was checking on Google Map and where we were, we were like right opposite it, but there's just a big wall of rock and then water. So I think it's in the sea. Uh, and you have to go around the front of the big rock. Maybe that's why it doesn't show up on the signposts here. They haven't signed it in because perhaps it's not Can't really. Get to it. And another couple walked along the rocks as well where we were, but then they like stood for a bit and had a look around and they just turned back. <laughs> Want a jelly belly? Give me a jelly belly. <laughs> Let's see what they're like. We weren't exactly sure if you'd be able to see this ball because of the tide, but now that we're looking at it from an aerial perspective, we think we found it. It would have been a bit tricky to get there. This whole coastline is pretty epic. You can tell that it's got some kind of volcanic origin. It reminds us a little bit of the Dorset coast, something called the Jurassic Coast, which is in the United Kingdom, where we're from. And I'm glad that we're getting to experience this kind of nature again. It's very different from where we now live in the Philippines. We don't get these kind of trees, we don't get these kind of rocks unless you travel to very remote parts of the country. And then, because there's 7,000 islands in the Philippines, it's difficult to get to. Whereas here in Japan, we can just drive from place to place and we get quite a varied bit of landscape. 
I reckon if we were to come back to Japan, you could probably spend a whole week just in one prefecture really exploring. This coastline here has plenty more to see that we've missed out on already because we have to head off. I'm glad we got to see at least part of this coastline. It's really cool. Has everybody had their fill of the Jogosaki coast now? Yeah, it's nice because most people coming to Japan on holiday probably wouldn't come to this area at all or even know it exists. It's true. <laughs> and there's a suspension bridge and that way, three kilometer walk, there's a temple and we've only just scratched the surface here and I do feel like we could spend a couple more days just here yeah. and going on big long hikes but we said I don't think this will be our one and only time in Japan so this is kind of our like big exploration trip to see the areas that we like and then next time we come back we can just focus on one little area of like the places that we really liked best yeah and also we've got such good weather right now it is beautiful I feel way too hot in this top oh, I'm sweating yeah <laughs> you could wear summer clothes right now and it's the end very end of October it's sunny it's like a perfect autumn day actually it feels like a summer's day it does yeah <laughs> this would be like a British summer wouldn't yeah. it yeah but obviously if you were here and it was raining um it wouldn't be so nice yeah but I guess you'd still go on hikes you just have to <laughs> in wet weather gear. Yeah, you have to have the right gear yeah. with you. I think this is the thing, it's like Japan has full seasons yeah. and you just need to have the right gear for each season and then you're happy here. Yeah. This is beautiful though and Story's loving it. She's just like running around, jumping off trees and yeah. exploring. It's lovely, it's really lovely. So this is where we parked and slept last night. Let me show you what public Japanese toilets are like. So this isn't the best example of one. We had a much better one last time. Lights, we've got electric faucets with sensors on them. We've got a mirror in here. Nice spider friend. Another massive spider friend. They've even got like disabled toilets with a handrail. They've got tissues in here for everybody to use. The toilets flush really well, so you can actually just throw tissues in the toilet or like what we have in other parts of Southeast Asia. Urinals, and I did notice that the guy came and cleaned up the car park this morning with a leaf blower, didn't he? He's done a very good job. He was even pruning the bushes yeah. with secateurs and then sweeping it all up. And it's a totally free car park as well, so, you know, they must be being funded by the government somewhere, but it's really good, isn't it? This is what it looks like from the outside. And this isn't the best example of a public toilet we've seen so far as well. The last place we stayed, I'm a bit annoyed I didn't film it. It had the most incredible log cabin wood making. It was a proper log cabin, like what you would see in America. And it had automatic doors, just really, really high quality. Not what you'd expect for something that you don't have to pay to use. Absolutely free. Something I've never seen before anywhere else in the world. All right, so a few things that have been super easy with van life so far. We're a few days in now. Toilets are everywhere, no problem. Other things that are not so easy is finding somewhere to have a full wash, like a shower or a bath. Now we've heard about all these onsens in Japan. There is one nearby here that we were planning on going to, but they're all booked out. Yeah. So you have to book in advance and a lot of them are book online. But we have found one on Google Map, which we think is a kind of walk in and like pay as you go. That's what we're going to go and try now. So we've just figured out how to get a private onsen. We're about to see what our room looks like. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, this is cool, isn't it? Yeah. So we get our own little room. I wonder what the view's like, Story. Do you reckon you could open the yes. blinds somehow? And the result? Wow! Whoa! Wow. That is insane. Oh my goodness! That is the Jogosaki coastline. And now we're seeing it from our own private room. Wow. Wow, that's breathtaking. That's incredible, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Wow. What a view. And it's warm in here with that sunlight, isn't it? Look, it's so beautiful Japanese style seating area. Ooh, with like a tatami mat on the floor. Tatami. So we have this room for one hour. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, we've got somewhere to hang our clothes. Oh, that's an extra seat. 
<laughs> Beautiful cupboards, aren't they? Really yeah. well made. And we haven't even seen the bathtub yet, Story. It's a toilet. Nice looking toilet there. You get a little pair of slippers. <laughs> this must be the bar. <laughs> Oh, we're only going in it right now. We are. We have to get everything done in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that wow. is incredible. Shower stuff. I'm getting in. I'm getting in. Take your socks off. While everyone's getting naked, I've come out here to get that perfect view. Listen to the sound. This is insane. I'm so ready for this. <laughs> Let's take a look at that incredible view. Ooh. Wow, it's private as well, it's just for us. You have to have a little shower before you can get into the onsen, which is what we're doing now. You are allowed to get into the private bar completely naked. It's probably encouraged, but we are wearing our swimmers today because we're on camera. How's the temperature of the water? Really hot. Is it volcano hot? <laughs> no, it feels really hot. Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> you know what this bucket is for though? Uh, maybe the slosher film. You've got the hair conditioner, the hair shampoo. You get everything that you need. You get towels, moisturiser, cleansing oil. How's it feel, Story? Really hot. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> volcano. volcano water. How's that feel? And these waters, they've got special like minerals, which are like rock salts in them, which make your skin nice and smooth. It's got healing powers, this will keep us young. I want to see my face. <laughs> yeah. What do you need in the bath? Seaweed? Yeah. Can you see the boat out there? this <laughs> <laughs> it does feel really good once you're in it. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's really, really salty, isn't it? Yeah. We expected to be that salty. It's big enough for all of us, isn't it? Yeah. The space for like Story and me to like walk all the way around. Yeah, I'm just the <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot for me. Yeah. Big bucket. It's cool that it floats as well. You can just fill it up when you need it. Just pick it up until ready. Yeah, you're right. There you go. just picked up our shoes from the free lockers. Story managed to get another commemorative stamp in her book and she's bought another toy. She's in the bedroom, are you? Yeah. You're gonna go home with a suitcase full of soft toys. That was a very nice experience, wasn't it? Well worth it. Yes. It we so nice. Needed that. Felt a little bit rushed to just have for the one hour, um, but we didn't really get to use the relaxing bit of the room with the tatami set up. We were just in the shower bit the whole time. So they've got a solid set of rules in these onsens, depending on which area you're in. I read that just recently, children under 10 weren't allowed in the public baths, but they've changed that now and they've brought it down to four years old in this particular one. So if you've got a kid under four, you can't use the public, you have to use the private bath like we did. This is definitely not one of the cheaper onsen. We paid 1,600 yen per adult, 850 for story, and then for the private room on top was 2,800. 
So in total, that works out to about 6,850 yen, which, which is about 38 British pounds. Yeah, so it's not bad. It's not bad for what you get. I mean, that room and that bath was stunning. And the view. The view was incredible. And that's for three people as well, um, which works out to like 12 pounds each. Full amenities. You had like high end, like our hair feels amazing feels now. So smooth. High end shampoo, conditioner, face wash, like whipped face wash. You had moisturizer, cleansing oil, all the cotton walls and ear cleaners and hair brushes. You everything that you could need to clean yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think if we weren't coming here to also just get clean yeah. and just spend more time in the bath and then getting out of the bath and enjoying that tatami room. Yeah would have been like better because I felt a bit rushed with one hour yeah but otherwise you don't really need much more than 10 minutes in the bath itself yeah because it's start very to get, hot yeah you start getting dizzy yeah we all started feeling a bit dizzy you know the face started tingling <laughs> and we feel really good after it yeah um, but yeah I got out my face was bright red <laughs> Also, it's a very Japanese experience. Mm. We needed to use Google Translate a fair amount in there. Yeah. But very worth it, definitely yeah. worth yeah, it. It was amazing, loved it. Story bought some souvenirs yeah. as well. Let's show those. This is Naomi, Naomi san, and Brenda gave me some money, and I've been spending it on little bits, including a gotcha. We bought these, which are local to the area wasabi french fries. <laughs> They're really nice. They literally just look like french fries, but mm. when you eat them... Yeah, they're crisps. They're not actually like hot fries. Today's shout out is going to... Sonia Montemaya! Huge thanks to Sonia for becoming a member. Hit the join button if you want to become a member. And yeah. we'll <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Bye. Sonia.